Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. If you remember, in the last video, we studied about nouns, right? And now that you're aware of nouns, you should also know the types of nouns, right? Don't you think so? So friends, nouns is actually a very huge category of words which is used in the English language. And because it is a very huge category, it has a very, you know, there are many different types of nouns which are actually used. But in this video, though we will study about the names of the types of nouns, but we will concentrate on two types of nouns, which you've already read here, proper noun and common noun. So let us go ahead and first see the types of different nouns that are there in the English language. Okay, so it's a huge list, right? So it's proper, common, singular, plural, countable, uncountable, collective. So as soon as we go forth, uh, you know, all of these videos, we will study in detail about the different types, the names that have been mentioned here. So for now, don't get confused. Just look at the names. Just try and memorize them. If you don't even want to, that's okay. Don't memorize. Just go through the names. That's it for now. Going forward, we will go, we will, you know, study in detail about each type of noun that is mentioned here. For now, let us study about proper and common nouns as I already told you. Okay, so first of all, proper nouns. So friends, as you already know, I'm sure you are aware, proper is again an English word, isn't it? So what is the meaning of proper? Proper actually means something that is that is perfect, right? That is that's just so accurate, right? That is the first thing that comes to our mind whenever this word proper is used, isn't it? So similarly, because it is a proper noun, which means that it is very, very accurate, very, very, you know, very specific, right? You could probably construe it to be something like this, don't you? So if you read the definition of proper nouns, it is used to denote the name of an individual person, place or organization. So here, what is really special about proper nouns? You know, they are very specific. They have an identity of their own. And one thing that is very important for, for, for proper nouns is that whenever you write or whenever they are spelled, their initial letter is always capital. So this is something that is very important and will actually help you to differentiate whenever in a sentence, you know, if you'll have different kind of nouns and you have to differentiate, you have to recognize which amongst them is a proper noun, this is actually that will help you, right? So it is a very easy catch for you to identify a proper noun, isn't it? So now that you are aware of the definition, let's just, let me just throw a little bit more light on this thing. So proper nouns, as I already told you, are very specific, right? So for example, what is a very specific noun around you? For example, someone's name, let us say my name, your name, your friend's name, your family, anyone's name is actually a proper noun. So you would have actually, you, you know, you would have noted whenever uh, it is in writing or you see it written somewhere, you always observe that the that the names, whenever these names are written, the first letter is always capital. So now you get the logic, right? Now I'm sure there is no confusion. Of course, because it is a proper noun, so the first letter is always capital, not just names. Let's consider some brand names, some brands. Don't we all go for shopping? We just love shopping, right? So many brands are there. So these brands, because they are very specific, right? They have an identity of their own. So these brand names are also proper nouns. And because they are proper nouns, so their first letter is always capital. Okay, so now that let's just move ahead. Let's dig, you know, let's drill deeper into proper nouns, not just names of brands and or persons, but also let us say specific places that you go. Now that, okay, once let us say I mention a particular city or I say that, you know, this is such a big city. So until and unless I have attached the, a name to a particular city, you cannot call it proper, right? So only when you will attach a name to a place, city, country, division, whatever you want to call, until unless you do that, it will not come in the category of proper noun. So for example, India, right? So whenever we write India, which is a country, our country, of course, so we always spell the first letter of India, which is I as capital. So why do we do that? Because again, it is a proper noun. So now you get it. Right? Easy, very simple. Something, a noun which has an identity, very specific identity of its own, 
comes in the category of proper nouns. So now that you have a slight idea, right? You know, names of persons, places, things, brands, very specific which are. So they are nothing but proper nouns. So now that you're aware, let's go ahead and practice some questions. Okay, here. So you have uh, so many different sentences and here you have to recognize which amongst them is a proper noun and if you feel there is something wrong with it, just correct it. Okay, here. What's the first sentence? Her dog Rusty goes for a walk every morning. So here Rusty, because Rusty is a name, right? And because it is a name, what will it be? You're absolutely right. It is a proper noun. And because it is a proper noun, so the first letter, which is R here, has to be capital. Okay? So how do you correct it? That is how you will write it correctly. Will you buy me a car for Christmas? So here again, Christmas is something that is very specific, right? It is very unique. It has an identity of its own. Not just Christmas, any festival, the name of any festival is actually very unique, isn't it? Because it's it just comes once in a year or however, I'm not sure about how different festivals are or maybe some come twice, I'm not sure. But because they are very specific and unique on their own, hence they are also a part of proper nouns. So here, Christmas, because again, it is a it is a proper noun, so the C of Christmas is going to be capital. Don't forget to tell Sarah and Mary about the Valentine lunch, right? So Sarah and Mary, again, because they are names, and Valentine, isn't it so exciting? Don't we all have so much fun in that Valentine week? So this Valentine week, where we all have so much fun, is again a kind of a festival, right? You might want to call it a festival, an event, an occasion, whatever you want to call it. So Valentine, because again is very specific and unique, thus the V of Valentine is going to be capital. So when you correct it, it is going to be something like this. Clear? Okay. I went to Delhi in the month of July. Of course, Delhi I know, you're very well aware of, that Delhi is a proper noun and hence the D of Delhi is going to be capital. But what about July? Of course, July is also a proper noun. And because it is a proper noun, again, the J of July is going to be capital. They place the entire bag of Cadbury chocolates on the table. So again, Cadbury, don't you all love it? Of course, I love chocolates. Let me tell you very clearly. And of course, we all love to enjoy chocolates, don't we? But again, Cadbury is a brand. See, chocolates are okay. There are many chocolates in this world. But once this word Cadbury is attached to it, a specific brand name is attached to it, it actually becomes a proper noun. So here Cadbury is a proper noun. And because it is a proper noun, I'm not going to repeat it. The first letter of Cadbury is going to be capital. Next Sunday, my friend Leo will be flying to Hyderabad. So here this sentence is full of proper nouns, right? So here Sunday again, it is a day and the name is very unique. So S of Sunday is going to be capital because Sunday is also a proper noun. Leo, because it is the name of a person. So because it is the name of a person, this is also a proper noun. And because it is a proper noun, so L is going to be capital. Hyderabad again is the name of a place. And because it is the name of a place, so H is going to be capital, right? Clear, easy, simple, very easy, right? Nothing tough about proper nouns. You're clear, right? So now that you're absolutely clear, let's go ahead and study about common nouns. So here, you have all the answers. Whenever you refer to this video, you can look at them and practice. So here, common nouns. Now, of course, contrary to the word proper, common is, you know, almost opposite to proper, right? So proper, when, when something is proper, it has to be very, you know, exactly, you know, in shape. It is, it is very, it's kind of very specific. But when something is co common, it's completely contrary to that completely opposite to that, right? So common means something that is not, not very, uh, you know, specific. It could be general, right? So of course, now that the name is, the name means this. So obviously, what is the definition of uh, common noun? It is a generic name of a person, place or thing 
in a class or group. Now anything, any noun actually, let's just be very specific when we discuss this, any noun which is not specific, for example, I have this pen in my hand, right? So I just say it is a pen or, or a skirt or a dress or a bag or a table. Now all these things, pen, table, skirt, dress, you know, bag, laptop, XYZ, whatever you want to say, all of these things are very generic, aren't they? See, because pen, there could be many pens in this world and I cannot call it very specific, right? So until and unless I attach a brand name, right? I'm just talking about this pen. It is going to be a common noun because I just said pen. Now there are going to be many pens in this world. I cannot, it's not something that is unique or very specific. So pen will come in the category of common noun. So laptop, pencil, fruits, bag, car, whatever you call, all of this is nothing but a common noun. And because it is common noun, the first letter is not going to be capital. Just keep this thing in your mind whenever you are talking about proper or common nouns. Now, clear right? As I already told you, the first letter is not capital. So now that you're clear about proper and common nouns, just do one thing. Go to your garden, sit on a chair nicely, sit peacefully, hold a notepad in your hand, take a pen and you know start listing down the name of different nouns that you see around you. Because if you remember I told you our surroundings are actually full of nouns, right? So now that you know what is a proper noun and what is a common noun, so what you might want to do is just take a notepad, take a pen, make two columns proper and common and write down the name of nouns which you feel are non-specific, list them under common nouns and which you feel are very specific, right? And have, are, have a unique identity of their own, list them in proper nouns so that you are actually very clear because when this contrast will come is when you'll be very easily able to identify a common and a proper noun and it's going to become very very crystal clear in your mind right so just practice that take this as your homework just start doing it and i'm sure it's going to be fun you're going to enjoy it believe me okay now you're aware what is a common noun let's go ahead and practice just we just the way we did for proper nouns right okay so here you have different sentences. Here again, you have to identify which amongst them is a common noun, right? Okay. John has to go to the school tomorrow. So here school is your common noun because there's no specific name attached to it, right? So because there's no unique identity or specific, uh, you know, name of, uh, of, of the school that we're talking about here. So school is your common noun. I live in a big city, here city again, because no name as such, there's no specific name mentioned, hence city is a common noun. Now here, going to the previous sentence, in this school, now the first letter of school, which is S is not a capital letter, right? And why it's not a capital letter, I am not going to answer that, I'm sure you're aware of it, right? But here John, if you observe, John is the name of a particular person and because it is a specific name, so it is, what is it? It is actually a proper noun and because it is a proper noun, J of John is capital. Clear? So just two things that you need to remember for proper and common nouns is that proper is specific, common is generic and first letter of proper is always capital whereas it's not the same with a common noun. Very easy. Okay. Let's go to the park today. Absolutely right. I could hear your answer till here. Trust me. Yes, park is the right answer because there is no specific identity, right? And of course, because again, it is a common noun. So P of park is not capital. I love to watch sports. So here again, sports is a common noun. Can you bring me lunch? So here lunch is your again, common noun. Let's go to the mountains. Wow, aren't mountains really fun? Don't you enjoy trekking and hiking? I definitely enjoy it, trust me. Believe me, yes I do. So here, mountains is nothing but a common noun. I'm excited about going to school. Absolutely right, school is the right answer, right? So this was all about proper and common nouns. Here, as it is always, these answers are ready for you for your reference. So we will meet again in the next video. Till that time, keep learning with tutorials point 
and tutorials I know you have downloaded and I know you have referred tutorials to your friends as well. Now that you and your friends are actually studying from tutorials, don't you think the friends of your friends should also study from tutorials? So please download this app. It's a very good platform to learn maths and science, you know, through video classes, which is so interactive, so interesting, right? And now that you're doing it, so everyone else should do it, right? So the link is there in the description box. If anyone has not downloaded it till now, go ahead, download, keep learning, have fun.